Is there something really special about going to Wembley as well? Because well, you're, you're going to be at Wembley in October. You're celebrating 30 years in the business. It's yeah, going to be I'm awesome. Gonna, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think uh, it's incredible because I remember the first time they. I remember as a kid, I was like, I wish, all I wanted to do was play Hammersmith Odeon. It was called. That was when it was called when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah. And, uh, and they put four nights on at Hammersmith, and then they said we're doing another night, and I was like, oh, we're doing five nights. And I couldn't believe it. And they said no, we're doing Wembley. So that was my first ever British tour. It was uh, it was Wembley. Then uh, we did eleven consecutive nights at Wembley. You must be very young then. then. Yeah. How old were you then? Well, I made my first album when I was seventeen. So. Oh. And, um, okay. Sold seventeen million records. Yeah, so Amazing, that was albums. It? We sold probably double that in singles. As and well. in the audience, one of those nights was Victoria Beckham. Yes. 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 That's the man I'm gonna marry. Yes, I've seen. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. I, sh I mean, I think she made the right choice personally. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I think he's, he's quite like you, I think. Yeah. 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 Isn't he? Yeah. David Beckham yeah. is. Yeah. I think he's so... Beckham sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say sloppy. I didn't say sloppy. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Victoria. I have met Victoria. She's lovely. We, we had a chat when we was back in the day. We used to chat a little bit, and mm -hmm. and then I saw her recently. And she said, "Shave my hair all off." I said, "Listen, I'm, yeah, you know, it's fine. I'm gonna as long as I can keep the troops for a little bit longer. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep it." She's lovely, and they're lovely. I saw. Did she talk about how much she fancied you? Uh, she, no, but she said a few things over the years, and I, it's just a massive compliment to me. Do you know what I mean, she's yeah. a beautiful woman, and do you fancy but, her? Yes, of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he doesn't know, yeah. So you are on the lookout at the moment. You're single, ready to I am single, yeah. yeah. I don't know, yeah. yeah. I'm, I, I just, uh, it would be, I'd love to get, I'm actually really would love to get married and have a laugh. I do so many beautiful things and, mm. you know, I travel all, all over the world and, and uh, it would be nice to just. Oh, take come on, my, what are you looking for? Time. Tell us what you're looking for. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you really want to know? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, obviously, for me, compassion is a big thing. Somebody that's naturally compassionate that you don't, that actually feels deep, deep compassion for people and uh, kind. But, uh, yeah, yeah, kindness kind. is very important to me. But then a naughty mind, you got to be. You got to be. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm worrying now. <laughs> Do you want me to explain to you? No. Right. Let's, let's... <laughs> yeah, no somebody that's cheeky, cheeky. I'm cheeky. I'm up mind. for anything. I know. I can that. <laughs> She's got a naughty <laughs> mind. <laughs> Been a while. But, um, uh, yeah, but yeah, somebody's got a cheeky up for a laugh. And would and you like then, children? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd love to be a dad and just uh, and. Uh, so it might not. It can't be difficult for you to find a woman. No, I think it's just that you know. I think that my mum passed away, and since my mum passed away two years ago, I just mm. I haven't. I've I've really feel a sense of like um, that phone call when you say, "Is everything going to be all right, mum?" And because yeah, it's going to be all right. Don't worry. That that phone call doesn't Mr. exist, and I and I want like a. Like a, a wingman, I need my best mate that we yeah. can make love everywhere and uh, all over the world and just have a good time and have, have a best mate that you still have cheeky yeah. moments with. I know, I'm probably I know saying exactly. all the wrong things, isn't I, really? <laughs> I think the last time, actually, you were on the show, it wasn't long since your mum had passed away yeah. and, and you were kind of reeling from it at that point, which is understandable. As time has gone on, how have you dealt with it? I think the strange thing about grief is, is that uh, I was, I think I was in denial the first year. It, it, mm. it doesn't seem... And then you do all these things. I just played Washington. The, I played uh, the Kennedy Center. We raised a, a huge amount of money for uh, breast cancer awareness for Susan G. Komen. Uh, and uh, you can still donate there if you want to. But it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's uh, coming it? back to London is the hardest thing. When that touchdown, the plane touches down, and you automatically get your phone to call your mum. Uh, that there, phone call yeah. doesn't exist. So I think for me, mm. this is the most coherent my grief has been actually. And I, and I, I have no problem at minute. I'm actually going to have a bit of counselling when I get back for the first mm. time. I think yeah. I need to speak about it and yeah, just yeah. and actually well, get it out of my system. It sounds like you're coming out of the shock, and shock <clears throat> is an amazing thing for giving you a bit of a buffer for the pain, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. But yeah. eventually that has to fall away and you have to get in touch with the, the agony, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And also, from, as a man, you've got to be a man and say, all right, well, you know, you find uh, that, that... Is it all going to be all right? You have to find that space mm, now. Yeah. So in many and ways... And do it when you're ready as yeah. well. Mm, yeah, and I think good. I was. I was, trying to, I was trying to force that issue, and now I'm just like, you know what? I've accepted what the reality is, yeah. and now i just got to get work for it. But she's, she was my best friend. We spoke three times a, a day on oh. Skype and, and yeah. FaceTime. But, you know. Well, we hope you find that special lady. We really, really so, do. Right. Obviously, there's an audience full, and there's four of us here. <laughs> <laughs> um, very quickly, Bros reunion. 
Uh, I, I'd like it if, if, the, if, the, if uh, the time and place is right. I think you know we'd love to do it, but you know absolutely not unless the right promoters put us in the right venue. I want to do a big, big summer event, maybe in Hyde Park, where it's nuts, where everybody comes and. Yeah. Right, we'll be right, there. Right we'll be there. We will yeah. be there. Yeah. We have to say goodbye, Matt. Oh. Matt Goss, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. Yep. So no Botox now. Are we, are we, are we not no, doing we're not, anything uh, now? Maybe, like, a little bit once a year. OK. Yeah. Just a softening of the okay. sadness. <laughs> of, like, a tired... <laughs> You know, and then it's like, ooh, I'm not so tired.